everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to be here with you in this 2020. I'm going to have so many new things on this channel that I'm so happy and so excited to share with you. And for today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to be taking my six best um, farmhouse DIYs that are very easy and very simple and quick to make using Dollar Tree items. All the links of these DIYs are going to be in the description box of this video if you have any question of how to make one of these DIYs. So I really hope that you like and enjoy this video. If you do, you can give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to get notified every single time I upload a new video. Hola mis amores y bienvenidos a mi canal nuevamente. Muy contenta de que estés aquí un día más conmigo. Y para el video de hoy va a ser un poquito diferente. Ya comenzamos un año nuevo, así que vamos a estar esperando cositas diferentes y nuevas en este canal. Y para el video de hoy voy a estar haciendo lo que fueron seis mejores DIYs en el estilo farmhouse pero que sean súper sencillos, fáciles y rápidos de hacer todos los videos de estos DIYs, los que son los originales, van a estar colocados en la descripción de este video por si tienes alguna duda de cómo hacerlo, pues puedes ir y ver estos videos para que sigas el paso a paso y mis amores, espero de todo corazón que te gusten estos DIYs si es así, me puedes dar un gigante y bonito like Además, suscribirte y activar esa campanita de notificaciones para que tu teléfono te notifique cada vez que yo subo un nuevo video. Mis amores, un video un poquito diferente, pero para estar relajados y poder um, recordar un poquito de lo que hicimos el año pasado. Disfrútelo. Ok, guys, so for the first project, I will be showing you how I made this picture base. And I'm only going to be using two products that you can find um, throughout the year in Dollar Tree and you can find this type of pictured base in many stores um, but I was a lot of fun to be able to do it and it comes out much cheaper um, and actually I only spent like two dollars in this project because the paint I put on it and the details of the youth cord that I put at the end um, I always have it at home so I just spent two dollars in this project and it was also the first time that I did a galvanized look on my DIYs and I just love it so much so I started doing it in several videos and projects and I see that you guys love it so that makes me feel so happy you can decorate this picture so many ways and you can put greenery inside or flowers. It depends on what colors are you using for your home.
second project is so simple to make. You are only going to use one of these water containers from a Dollar Tree and also you need a placemat and yeah, paint. But um what I'm going to be doing is try to make that this water container looks more rustic. So I use my Waverly Shulk paint in mineral color and I just paint the whole container. Then I add a distressed look with a darker color and some um, galvanized details using the placemat. And it is super easy to make, super budget friendly. And I changed this water container for a tea jug that looks super rustic. And um, I think it's beautiful to place next to your farmhouse or rustic home decor. For my third project, I use one of these galvanized pockets, um, very popular from a Dollar Tree. And I just remove the letters that it has and I add a weather look to all the edges of the bucket using a darker color. Then I create some legs just to have some weight on the bucket um, and I use cloth hangers and then you can put greenery inside or a blanket you can put so many things in this project next project and guys I really love this one I made a lantern and I just use a hummingbird feeder in a candle holder from a Dollar Tree and you can put a light inside of these lantern and then I also made a super cute wooden wall sconce to hang the lantern or you can also hang many other things
For the next project, I made a wooden spoon. Super simple and easy. I use an empty can and I hid popsicle sticks all around the can and I also put two wooden round plaques from Walmart from only one dollar. One on the top and one on the bottom of the can and finally I paint these with my Wibbly wax in antique color. DIY I made a fixer upper wall light using Dollar Tree items as well and for this project um, I used some seasonal items from from Halloween and I think from summer just to be able to make this light but you can make your project in many ways and here I just try to give you an idea and I've seen so many people that recreate this project and being very creative and that makes me feel so happy guys I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you can do and I think this is one of my favorite projects that I ever made so enjoy it
guys I really hope that you like this video and remember that I'm going to be leaving you all the links of each video in the description box below please share this video that really helps my channel growing up um, and you can give me a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed to my channel yet and leave me a comment see you on my next video love you so much guys and have a beautiful day and happy new years